Hi, this is Dr. Mavis again. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I want to share a few thoughts on leaders as emotional guides. Leaders as emotional guides. We're living in anxious times, and the reason they are anxious is because there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of volatility, a lot of change, disruption. We're being disrupted left, right, and center. So we experience all these emotions, these challenging emotions. We experience overwhelm. We experience anxiety, confusion, anger sometimes, sadness, because there's a lot of loss um, of what we used to know or how we used, we, we used to do things. While these emotions are normal, it's normal. It's um, emotions are feedback loops. They are basically telling us that something within us or around us is changing. So these emotions are normal and they are acceptable. The only challenge is that the longer we spend in some of those emotions the, and, and the more frequent we experience them, the more difficult it is for us to adapt because the changing environment demands that we change. It demands that we adapt. But if you're feeling angry for the longest time, that consumes the energy that you need to actually be changing. So that becomes a challenge. So what do leaders need to do? Leaders need to be able to sense to be able to use the emotional data. So what is the data? What are your employees? What are your teams feeling, right? I remember actually doing a session on fatigue and stress management in one team. And there was one leader who said something that was, you know, quite noble. She says, each time our team is experiencing anxiety, we all pause. We all stop what we're doing and say, hey, stop. Let's do a quick time analysis. What is everybody working on? What is everybody working on? And so they do this collaboration. They collaborate to resolve issues around overwhelm so that they can be able to say, hey, you're working on this, but it is not priority right now. Or you need to let go of it because we have changed direction. So this is what you need to be focusing on. And what that does, it creates a lot of certainty. It also creates connection. You don't feel like you're isolated on your own. Because negative emotions, normally, when you experience them, they have a way of isolating you. You feel like you're the only one. You feel like there's something wrong with you as a person. So they actually, you know, make you feel, you know, isolated, um, leave you on the side. But this team is saying, we are managing these emotions together. And the leader is actually guiding the emotions. She's saying, hey, when you feel overwhelmed, something is going on. Let's check it together so that we can see how we can navigate the overwhelm. No one must be feeling overwhelmed while they're working. And I love that. How is that for, you know, connection? How is that for care? How is that for coaching your team to be able to perform at the level that they're capable of performing? Um, and I think the challenge is that as a leader, while you're guiding emotions, you're also experiencing these emotions. You also are being triggered or these same emotions are being provoked and evoked by the changing times. Now, the demand is that you have the capacity to process and manage your own emotions um, so that you can help the team to navigate and manage their own emotions. And also the ability to be actually vulnerable and say, I am also experiencing overwhelm. I'm also experiencing anxiety. And your team, give your team permission to be able to help you to process, to be able to to shoulder some of the responsibilities or the understanding you need them to have. And because if you don't verbalize, if you're not vulnerable with your own emotions, chances are you are going to um, act it out. So when you act it out, you transfer that anxiety into the team. So when you transfer the anxiety into the team, you're not guiding the emotions, right? You're not guiding the emotions. You're simply passing on negative charge, negative emotions. And as the intensity increases, as it goes down the team, chances are, your team will not perform at the expected level. And it will also become a vicious cycle. You're frustrated they're not performing. You transmit the frustration down. They get frustrated. They frustrate you. And it becomes a vicious cycle. So leaders are emotional guides. We need to be able to sense and say, what are the emotions in this team? How do I guide? How do I help my team to change and transform this emotion um, so that we can have, you know, the emotion we require that is functional, the emotion that is inspiring, the emotion that motivates people to perform. Thanks for listening. Please don't forget to share this with your colleagues.